good time too We're back at the shack with Annie today And we're glad to see you Gonna have a good time too Cause we're back at the shack, back at the shack, back at the shack With you G'day there, uh, Arnie here. Uh, welcome back to Arnie's Shack. Uh, today we are going to be learning uh, about getting organised and how things go much better uh, when we are organised. Uh, watch this. back last week? Well, yes, but I forgot because I was really busy. Kelly, that means you'll have to pay a fine again. I'm sorry, Mum, but I had so many things to do that I just didn't remember about it. Kelly, you don't seem very organised at the moment. You know, that fine will be coming out of your pocket money. Oh, Mum! Well, Kelly, you were the one who didn't return it on time, so you're the one that's going to have to pay the fine. Here it is! I found it! Now, what is this inside it? Oh no! What is it, Kelly? This is an invitation to Sophie's birthday party! Why the oh no then, Kelly? I'm sure you will have a great time with Sophie and the other girls at the party. Well, I would have, except that the party was last weekend. See? The invitation was still in my library book. So I didn't remember about it. Kelly, you really need to do something about getting more organised. Oh no! What is it now, Kelly? I just remembered. I was supposed to finish my maths homework last night. Kelly! Now I'll probably have to miss my lunchtime because my teacher will make me stay in. Hello everyone. Oh, I say hello there everyone. Hi Nana. I thought you'd already be on your way to school by now. I oh, say so already on your way to school. Well, Kelly is having difficulties getting herself organised. Uh, I'm not surprised when I see what your room looks like, Kelly. I don't know how you find anything in here. I oh, say so I don't know how you find anything. Well, it is a bit hard to find things. Uh, how about this afternoon after school, uh, we get you organised. I oh, say so we get you organised. Yes, Kelly, that sounds like a great idea to me. OK, thanks. I think I do need some help. Now, g'day there, everyone, again, and welcome along to Balloon Kaboom. And I've got my friend uh, with me again, Pastor Darren. Uh, how's it going there, Pastor Darren? Good, thanks, Arnie. Hi, boys and girls. And, um... What are we going to be making uh, today, Pastor Darren? Well, I thought today I'll make a highly organised animal. Mm. 
But that wouldn't be me. <laughs> You're not organised, Arnie. Ah, uh, that's what Doreen says. Oh, really? Mm. I have a black balloon. Right. I'm going to make a body. A body. So one bubble. Right. Two bubbles. Mm -hmm. Three bubbles. And roll it through. Mm. Remember to be guessing, boys and girls. And we're going to break this balloon. Right. Okay, and I've pre-organised right. a red balloon mm -hmm. to make a red stripe. You're very organised, uh, Pastor Darren. That's right. This animal has a red stripe down its back. Mm. Yeah, maybe it should uh, use some suntan lotion. <laughs> it's not sunburnt. Oh, it's not sunburnt? No. Mm. It's an Australian animal. Right. Well, no wonder it's got a red back. Mm. And then break this balloon. What do you reckon it is, kid? And tie the red stripe in. Mm -hmm. So there it is. Right. That's the body. That, that's the body. He mm. now needs some big, white, googly eyes. Mm -hmm. yeah, that, that's always a good thing. That's right. So there they are. Right. Big, big, white, googly eyes. Now here's the big clue, Arnie. Mm -hmm. This animal has eight legs. I, eight legs? So I've pre-made mm -hmm. eight legs. That, that's a lot of legs. That, that might be a big clue, uh, boys and girls. Eight legs. A very big clue. Mm -hmm. Put yeah, eight what legs could, onto the body. wonder what it could be. Um, I'm thinking. So mm -hmm. there it had one, two, right. three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Eight legs. Wow. And there it is. No, that's it. That's it. Mm. So where, where does it normally live, uh, Pastor Darren? It normally lives in a web. In a web? That's right. Uh, uh, Pastor Darren. Can you guess, Arnie? Can you guess? Um, I reckon it could be a... Um, let me think. A crab. A what? A crab. A crab? Yeah. Crab's got lots of legs. I think it's got eight legs too. But no, it's not a crab. Crabs live in the water. Oh, right. This okay. animal lives in a web. In a web. Oh, okay. Oh, I know. What? Yeah, that's easy. It's a spider. Yes. This one is an Australian redback spider. Oh, that, that's why it's got the red, red back. That's right. Now, Arnie should never touch spiders. No. But you can look at them. Right. You ever studied spiders' webs? Uh, oh, I have. You, you know, uh, spiders are, um, have always been uh, advanced in technology. Why is that? Uh, because they've got worldwide webs. <laughs> You're right today, Arnie. Yeah. But spiders, look at their webs. They're highly organised. They, they are. They start in the middle and work their way out, and it's the same shape right around, and it's organised so they can catch all the flying insects they want to eat. So for a spider to survive, they have to be highly organised. Mm. So we can learn from the spider, Arnie. Yeah, we can. We can be organised too. How about that? Oh, I find that uh, fascinating. It is really really uh, amazing how organised spiders are. That's right. Next time you see a spider's web, think about organisation. Mm. Would you like to take the spot, red back spider and give him to Ranger Hardy? Yeah, yeah I'll do that. And I'll tell Ranger Hardy he, sh he should get organised. <laughs> to get yeah. organised. Yeah. And watch out for uh, these uh, red back spiders. That's they can right. Bite Look, you. but don't touch. Yeah. Anyway, kids, uh, it's time to go now. Uh, so from Balloon Taboo, uh, we'll catch you later. Uh, see you, Pastor Darren. Bye, Arnie. Bye, boys and girls. Yeah, yeah this one's going to be a bit tough. <laughs> Hope it doesn't bite me. <laughs> mm. Make a list of all the things you need to do each day.
G'day boys and girls, and welcome to Get Active with PJ! Today we're going to do some walking on this walking machine! Walking is a really great way to get active, boys and girls! Let's make this thing go a little bit faster! Whoa, this is getting pretty quick! This is a little bit more like jogging than it is walking! Where's the stop button? Oh, there it is! It feels really good to get fit and active, boys and girls. I'll just wipe myself off with this towel. Anyway, my friend Cassie's gonna show me what else I can walk on. What's she taking me to over here? It looks like a little wall. Are we supposed to walk on this? Oh, look at Cassie. She can balance on top of the wall. Looks a little bit tricky. Let's see if I can do it too. Whoa, this is pretty tricky. Let me try again. One foot in front of the other here. Nice and slow and steady, PJ. Whoa, whoa. I'll try that again. If Cassie can do it, I can do it. Oh, keep my balance. Whoa, oh. Try again, try again. Keep going, PJ, almost there. Anyway, boys and girls, thanks for joining me on Get Active with PJ. I'll see you next time. Hi, my name's Jeremy and today I'm going to make a hairy spider but don't touch real ones. First you need four black hairy pipe cleaners, one little cut and half black pipe cleaner, two black big pom-poms, two little red pom-poms, some eyes and some felt for the mouth and some glue. Get the four hairy pipe cleaners and find the middle. Then you get your black pipe cleaner and wrap it around the four hairy pipe cleaners. And then you bend its legs and its feet. Then you get the two black pom-poms to make its body. Then you get the two red pom-poms and glue them on to the end of the antennas. Next you get the eyes and the mouth and glue them onto the front of the spider. And now you have your hairy, scary spider. Write down important dates in your diary and check every day.
Good afternoon, boys and girls. My name is Professor I.R. Weiss, and today I'll be showing you something amazing. I just finished organizing all of my lab equipment, and now I am ready for my next experiment. I have even color-coded the hot and cold water with red and blue food coloring. The blue cold water is in one container, and the red hot water is in the other. Hang on a minute. What is this? The water is in the wrong containers. I am going to have to devise an experiment to organize this water. Hans, we're going to need to test out my theory. I'm going to need you to get me two glass jars, one with hot water and one with cold water. Thank you, Hans. Now I also need a piece of cardboard just big enough to cover the top of the jar, please, Hans. Yes, that's very good. Oh, and Hans, I'm going to need some red and blue dye. Oh, no, 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 not a red and blue pie. Red and blue dye. Thank you, Hans, much better. Now remember, boys and girls, hot water is very dangerous, so don't try this at home. Okay, Hans, let's get on with this experiment. Please place some blue dye in the cold water and red dye in the hot water. No, 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 not the pie, Hans, the dye, the dye. Yes, much better, Hans, thank you. Now, boys and girls, as you can see, we have organized and color-coded the water in the jars. Hans, please place the cardboard slip over the cold water. Thank you, Hans. You need to make sure the cardboard stays flat and makes a seal. The water will not come out because this creates a vacuum. Now quickly flip the cold water jar upside down and place it on top of the hot water jar. Very good, Hans. Now, Hans, I'm going to need to help you with this next part of the experiment. Hans, please hold the jars together tightly. I'm going to remove the cardboard slip from between the jars. Now look at what's happening. The water is organizing itself. The red hot water is moving up to the top jar, and the blue cold water is moving down to the bottom jar. The water is mixing together and turning purple. This is because hot water is lighter than cold water. Isn't it amazing the way God has put in place systems and rules to keep our world organized? We need to do our part in being organized too. Life is so much smoother when things are organized. So boys and girls, remember to keep your things organized too. I am Professor I.R. Weiss, and I'll see you next time. Now, Hans, I'm feeling a little bit hungry, and that pie looks very nice. Could you please cut up the pie, Hans? Hans, where did you go? What are you doing now? Oh, no, 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 not my new tie. I said cut the pie. If you have lots of things to do, work out what is the most important thing and do that first. Hi there everyone, Ranger Hardy here again. Today we are going to look at some of the most fascinating creatures God has created. Have a look at how organized their home is. Can you guess what this creature is? That's right, it's a spider. Now before we go any further, I want you to always remember that some spiders can bite. These bites can be very painful. And some spider bites are even deadly. So if you see a spider, move away and tell a grown up. It's easy to tell the difference between an insect and a spider. Insects have six legs, but spiders have eight. Many spiders have silk glands in their abdomens, which they use to create their webs. Spiders use their webs to catch their prey. They are very organized. Most spiders have fangs, which they use to bite and inject venom. This is why you need to keep away from spiders. This spider is an Australian redback spider. It's called a redback because of the red stripe on its back. This is a very dangerous spider, so if you see one, Keep away. 
There are over 30,000 species of spiders in the world. Most spiders have six or eight eyes. Spiders spend most of their life hunting for food. The spider is another sensational creature God has created. But it is often a creature we need to watch from a distance. You don't want to get bitten. So remember everyone, keep away from spiders. Anyway, got to get on with that tight schedule. I do like to be organised. So from Ranger Hardy, I'll catch you next time. Sensational! Put things away in the right place as soon as you've finished using them. Kelly, how was your day? Well, I have had better days. I missed my lunch playtime because I had to finish my maths homework. Well, Nana's here and she's going to help you get organised this afternoon. Thanks, Nana. That will be great. Uh, yes, Kelly. Uh, we'll find a place for everything and everything in its place. I say everything in its place. Uh, let's get started. I say let's get started. Say, that looks better, Kelly. Uh, that looks better. Wow, it looks so good now. I'll be able to find everything. Uh, I have one more thing uh, for you, Kelly. Uh, one more thing. Uh, diary, I say, diary. Uh, when you have a special appointment or, or some homework you need to do, uh, write it in your diary and then you won't miss any important dates. I say, any important dates. Thanks, Nana. This is going to be great. I'm going to enjoy being organised. ready for the next day. Yeah, well, oh, I know Kelly is so much happier now that she has got her things organised. Uh, how about you boys and girls? Uh, do you need to get a bit more organised too? Uh, as Ranger Hardy showed us, uh, God has designed spiders to be very organised, uh, as we can see by their webs. In the Bible, in the book of Genesis, uh, we can read about how organised God was when he created the world. Uh, for six days, he carefully organised and created everything in perfect order. Uh, we can read what God said uh, when he finished this project. In Genesis chapter 1 and verse 31, uh, where it says, uh, God looked at everything he had made and it was very good. Uh, why don't you take the time today to get yourself organised and see how much better things will be for you too. Uh, anyway, uh, I've got to get on with it now. Uh, Doreen wants me to finish organising the garage. 
Uh, so I'll catch up with you all again uh, next time. Uh, see ya. Uh, bye. Shack, and next time, uh, catch you later. Uh, God bless. <laughs>